I'm Simon Stanley, analyst at large at Heavy Reading, and I'm delighted to be joined by Serge Mel, who is Director of Product Marketing for IP Optical Networks at Nokia. Now, there's been a lot of talk in optical networking about fifth generation coherent optics. Can you describe what customer challenges these address? I think fundamentally the, the two biggest um, drivers for this from the customer standpoint is cost effectively scaling network capacity across their network. So in the Metro core, all the way into uh, the long haul uh, subsea networks that they operate. And then also being able to support uh, new service offerings. And the one that's really uh, in the process of being rolled out pretty extensively right now is 400 gigabit ethernet services. And so what fifth generation coherent optics is essentially leverage the latest uh, silicon uh, technology around seven nanometer node technology to be able to provide more bandwidth and less power consumption. And, and that's really the, the two ways that you can optimize fifth generation coherent optics. You can use them to drive down the power and enable pluggable 400 gig coherent optics that can be used in routers and transport platforms, or you can use them uh, to enable high baud rate, high performance coherent optics that provide the maximum capacity reach performance. And it's really the two um, sets of incarnations of fifth generation coherent optics that combine that allow you to optimize uh, that capacity scaling and 400 gigi service transport uh, across the network end to end from the Metro uh, access edge all the way through the Metro regional long haul core. Okay, so we're seeing these solutions covering both pluggable and performance optimized applications. What are some of the characteristics or details of these fifth generation coherent optics and why would customers use one over the other? Yeah, so th that's exactly the point around this is that it's a, a range of solutions that fall under the category of fifth generation coherent optics. And they're very much optimized for different application areas. So at one end you have 400 ZR optics, which are um, very much optimized for short reach Metro point to point data center interconnect applications. So they provide 400 gigabits per wavelengths, but can only do a single span. Uh, similar to 400 ZR, but with more uh, performance are 400 ZR plus optics. And essentially they extend uh, the distance over which you can get 400 gigabits per wavelength and are uh, usable in uh, smaller metro, but networked applications. So think of uh, metro aggregation rings, metro core networks, but at some point they don't have enough capacity reach. And that's where you have this category called 400 gig multi-hull which extends the uh, capacity reach performance and also very importantly, the ability to uh, transmit through multiple Rotom nodes so that these can be used in Metro core and regional network applications. And then really at the, 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 the high performance end are 90 gigabaud coherent optics. So these uh, support uh, much higher capacities per wavelength. They can do 400 gigabit transport over thousands of kilometers. So into into ultra long haul and subsea network applications. And then the first three, 400 ZR, 400 ZR plus and 400 gig multi-haul are all pluggable. So they can be deployed in routing platforms to enable IP optical uh, integration applications. And then the 90 gigabaud high performance uh, coherent optics as well as the 400 gig multi-haul can also be uh, used in optical transport systems as well. So in applications where you need to do sub 400 gig ethernet aggregation, for example, and obviously in very long spans where you just don't have the capacity to reach with a 400 ZR ZR plus optic. Turning now to solutions from Nokia, uh, what is Nokia doing around fifth gen coherent optics? Are, are you focusing on one area or all applications? And how will Nokia utilize these in transport products? Yeah, so Nokia has introduced uh, fifth generation coherent optics uh, across all the categories that uh, I mentioned before. So we've introduced 400 ZR and ZR plus optic support in our routing platforms. And specifically for our optical transport systems, we're introducing both the CFP2 pluggable 
400 gig multi-hall optics across our portfolio. So into our Metro platforms, our compact modular systems, our integrated uh, transponder line system solutions, and also our packet OTN switching platforms. And the high performance 90 gigabyte coherent optics are also being introduced across our optical transport portfolio, compact modular, uh, integrated transponder, uh, WDM and POTN switching platforms as well. Okay, great. So finally, how are your customers using these coherent pluggable modules? So customers are using them um, exactly along the lines that I described. They're picking the solution that provides the best economics and operational benefits for their application. So we're seeing customers deploying our 40 gig multi-haul in Metro core networks, um, and specifically either to transport 400 gig ethernet services uh, from a router, but over uh, longer distances through multiple Rotom uh, hops, and also for doing sub 100 gig ethernet um, aggregation uh, as well. And then what we're seeing is customers looking at our high performance 90 gigabit optics for use in their long haul network spans, be able to get 400 gigabits, 500, 600 gigabits of capacity over thousands of kilometers of distance, and also over uh, subsea networks where you can then connect uh, across a transoceanic link at much higher capacities than was uh, possible in the past with previous generation optics. Hey, well, thanks, Serge, and thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Appreciate the time uh, and ability to share with you our plans. Thanks.